Famous person on the line. Famous person on the line. Here we go! Here we go! I'm being told there's a famous person on the line right now, and this famous person is one of the all-timers. This is one of the funniest people who've ever uttered a word in humanity. The word genius gets thrown around a fair amount, and I disagree with most people who get called geniuses. <laughs> but I'm going to say that in this case, I will allow this next guest to be called a genius. It's the one and only my friend and my co-host of the amazing Double Threat podcast, which can be heard each and every Monday over on the Forever Dog Network, Julie Klausner. How are you? Hi, Tom. What's going on? I'm so happy to talk to you while you're uh, still fresh and oh. raring to go and, and just uh, blossoming with so much positive energy that a caller just offered to show you where evil Knievel farted and yeah. you didn't hang up on <laughs> no, it. No, I didn't. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, uh, right now, it is nothing but positive yeah, vibes. You, no, you are you are on this. <laughs> I am. I will have what you're having. <laughs> yeah, I am in the. I will have what you're having. Point of thing, but soon I'm going to be like this. If somebody goes, uh, say say say, hey Tom, I think you're the funniest person ever. Yeah. Just say that, and I'll show you how I'll react hey, to that. Tom, I, I th- oh, hey Tom, I bought. 1100 copies of your paperback and i think you're the funniest person ever what (laughs) (laughs) what do you want just leave me alone i'm sleepy let me rest for god's sake i mean i i've never seen that movie the descent i think it's about spelunking oh you gotta see this movie it is spooky. What happens? But what happens? What happens in it? It's not about. It's not about you after twenty four hours. <laughs> no. Well, that, I'm doing my own it. version of the <laughs> descent. I'm doing a remake. Uh-huh. Are you spelunking? I am spelunking Wait, into in myself. Movie? What happens in the movie? Oh, it's a fun movie. These uh, these ladies decide to go spelunking as ladies will do, and you know when you and your other fellow ladies go on spelunking trips together. And mm-hmm. well, yeah. look, it happens. I want to say this also. The way I just said that, I was a fake out. I wanted to trick any mm-hmm. of these pigs out there who would say that ladies don't go spelunking. It's a it's a new world out there, you sexist jos. And you got to realize mm-hmm. if a lady wants to go spelunking, they will go spelunking. But they go on a spelunking trip. I saw this movie. I saw this. I saw this movie. And they go girls trip. They go in. No, that was it was not. This is a little different than uh, girls trip. Okay. Because okay, I don't so remember. They go spelunking. I don't think in girls trip that they all get killed. Like in oh, horror movies. Oh no! Not that they all get killed. They don't all get killed. That's the way horror movies work. Is some yeah. people get killed, others don't, and in the descent. Some people get killed and they go spelunking and they end up in a cave that yeah. is filled with these creatures that they don't even explain mm-hmm. who they are and why they're doing this. It's kind of, mm-hmm. that makes it spookier than anything that they don't just like say like, you know, 200 years ago, some creatures were stuck down in this cave. No, they just go down in the cave. They start getting whomped on by these monsters. Mm-hmm. I, I just have a quick question. What yes. is spelunking? I don't know. Because it sounds like a word that Mad Magazine made up. Yeah. Like it would be like uh, like uh, like a Dave Berg would have Roger Kaputnik <laughs> saying. <laughs> it's like Dr. <laughs> Roger Kaputnik would go to Dr. Spelunker. He'd go to Dr. Spelunker. Doctor, I got a pain in my side. Every time I stand up, but I my, get a pain my, in my side. My advice to you is don't stand right. up. Don't stand up. That's the answer. But but you're from New Jersey. I'm from New York. We don't spelunk. No. I don't know what that is. What does it mean? We go around a cave and putz around? You can spelunk in New York. And all you got to do, Julie, is uh, put on put on your most uh, uh, put on your 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 uh, your most functional uh, romper and just climb into a sewer. Wait, I don't. You're not. 
I'm sorry, but you're not explaining what spelunking is. Does it mean just wading in water? I think it means they go in caves. You said it first. I didn't say spelunking first. I thought you I don't knew. Think we I need to you, start I the blame you, game. Nobody's you. playing the blame no, game. I'm here. honest. No, I'm not playing the blame game. I'm just trying to figure out what spelunking means. And you said it first. I was just like, ah, uh, yes, Does spelunking. Jason know? Studio. Does Jason know? Jason, oh, Mike, is Mike on the line? Mike? Wait, should we, who, who in the best show family is most likely to have spelunk? Oh, I can answer that. None of them. What's up? Mike, do you know what what is spelunking well, technically? Closest, though? Who, and this is AP closest? Mike. Hi, Mike. The wonderful going, AP Julie? Mike. How are you tonight, Mike? Doing all right. Good. Good to hear from you. Good to hear your voice. Always yes. good to hear your voice. Spelunking. Yeah, spelunking. I've never. Yeah, I've never done that. It's, yeah, it's going in caves, right? Yeah. Going in caves. I. Uh... Jason, my money's on Jason. I think Jason's probably been closest. Jason, have you ever gone spelunking? Pat, spelunking, yes, no, maybe so. <laughs> we went about? in storm drains when we were a kid. Uh huh. That was our our form of spelunking. A storm drain. So you drain. go down. What did you lift the manhole cover? You know who you messed no, with. No, there there was an outlet. I tell you what, uh, the, a block away. You ain't never gonna get me to go down okay. no uh, no storm drain. You know who's <laughs> down there? It. It is down there. And it, and, and the water would go into a stream nearby. Julie, what there was never say? any a lot of water in the storm drain, so you could crawl in there. Remember when that little kid Georgie stuck his little rowboat, a little paper I was boat? Gonna, I was <laughs> gonna say that's 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 Mike's origin story. He was a little rain. He was a little, little rain outfit. He followed a paper plane. And how did it sound? How does he sound? You do the best, Pennywise. <laughs> that's, do it no that's it you got it i can't i can't i can't do it imagine so wait, Mike, I, imagine a young ap mike drain. is playing with his little paper boat and pennywise sticks his head out of the out of mm-hmm. the storm drain what would he say hello mike <laughs> yeah we used to terrorize little kids because yeah we would be underneath a storm grate and we'd be calling up to mm-hmm. these kids and they didn't know where the voices were coming mm-hmm. from so Dude, you were in georgia you were pennywise yeah. <laughs> i guess so did you ever was, go spelunking? there was no su- sewerage in there yeah, though hold on he's in D- sewers right here's dudio did you ever go spelunking mm-hmm. i did and i got caught in like an opening I knew it. Hold on. First of all, who called it? I was a Boy Scout for for like two months. It's going to be worse than the jet ski story? No, no. It's actually, (laughs) I had to get some other Boy Scouts to push me through, um, and then I never went again. Mm -hmm. But I have been spelunking. I I don't recommend it. Well, Julie, you called it. Your money was on Jason. So, Jason, can I ask you a question? What is it? You just go into a cave and you just splash around? Yeah, that's real. I mean, you get muddy. You walk around. It's a nice temperature in there because, uh-huh. what, caves are always like 53 degrees, I think. So, uh, yeah, that's it. You <laughs> just have... an oddly specific. Think... Yeah, 53 degrees. I think it's 53 <laughs> degrees. This guy, I like... This guy's a Boy Scout. How long were you a Boy Scout? As you know, <laughs> I was a Boy Scout for two years. Is that fair? Two years? I thought you said two weeks. No, no, no. Just two years. Two years. I, I only did it to go to the uh, amusement park, and then I quit. <laughs> to go to King's Dominion in so, uh, Richmond, Virginia. So you got... This you're just like part of the entrance fee. Yeah. They hey. had to pass it to like answer me my question three. So you can yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Roller at the yeah. end of the year, yeah. at, at the end of the year, we all uh, get to go to King's Dominion and ride the roller coaster. <laughs> Jason's exactly like, it. I just got to hang on until yeah. I get on that roller coaster. Then I'm throwing this stupid Boy Scout thing right off the roller coaster. I never got any of the patches. Uh-huh. I never did any of the work. Okay. I just kind of stayed there. I just sat. So you in the were corner. the worst Boy Scout. I was the worst Boy Scout. Uh, 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 was there, there's no. Is there a spelunking patch? The, uh, there is, but they didn't give it to me. Probably just because they were so disappointed in my lack of any other uh, Boy Scout skills. Well, I, we I was a get, tenderfoot. So mm-hmm. therefore. 
I think there's a call to arms. Let's get Jason a spelunking patch. <laughs> Anybody out there got a spelunking patch for yes, for young uh, Dudio? Yeah. Yeah. So that's a Julie, you called it. Called it. Now, Julie, let me ask you this. You? How? How, how, how do you do it? How? Just how? <laughs> how do you do it? How does all that talent fit and all that beauty I fit? With, I get well, I get by with a little help from my friend Tom. Oh, that's the sweetest thing. I want to say this. We do double. And I, get, th- and I get high with a little help from my friend Mike. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look. Uh, oh, yeah. Mike's like, Ixnay on the old. Uh. No, he, Mike's not. <laughs> no. I get high no, with I a have, little help. I'm my... very lucky to have you as a, a collaborator. And I'm so proud of you for. I would, I would say, as this descends into madness and whatever it becomes, mm-hmm. that people not forget the reason for the season, which is that you wrote this incredible book that you did not even come close to phoning in. You put a thousand percent behind this book. You took this so seriously. You put your heart and your soul and your giant brain into this. And you really, I mean, you just knocked it out of the park and I'm using a sports metaphor. That means I'm serious. And you used it. You used it correctly too. Your bestseller is now in paperback. And I just don't want people to forget that. That's why we're doing this crazy, crazy thing. Oh, Julie, that means the world to me. Thank you so. You're you're. We have a special thing on Double Threat now because it and it started on the best show. Our 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 on air partnership started on the best show, and we were just mm-hmm. like, it felt very mm-hmm. special. We needed to do it every week, and we do do it every week on Forever Dog Double Threat. It's just one of the most fun times I've ever had doing anything, and I'm so glad I get to do it with you. Well, I am so proud of this this book and I'm so proud of you and I am um, really looking forward to listening to all the stages of not grief but disintegration mm-hmm. that will increase in- <laughs> because what's the, la- the the longest you've done is what seven hours probably like seven you? yeah so we're going to do four of those basically yeah. three three and a half of those so you're going to do four of those at, w- at a certain point, it should just become a pledge drive. I mean, you should just start raising. I'm, <laughs> I'm also start, start giving out an 800 things. number. That like you're going to get into your old. Yeah, into my old habit, fundraising right? mode. Yeah. God help me. God help me. Yeah, and then they're the going to be like, Tom is guilty of embezzlement. And yeah. you're like, I was just on the autopilot. I was just, yeah. I was just what? I, I don't know. I didn't know I couldn't raise money for WFMU, but keep all of it. Nobody told me that was illegal. <laughs> If you would have told yeah, me, I would never have done w- that. You're raising money for WTOM, baby. WTO, that's it. WTOM. Now, do you know mm-hmm. that uh, Harry Chapin, I'll play this later and dedicate it to you, has a song called W-O-L-D? <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. I think I just wrote the next episode of Double Threat with that one. So, Well, do you know, you know, my I wrote this really dumb joke. Yeah. Um, which is what's a what's a dog's favorite radio station? W A L K. Oh, w- I thought it would be W O O F. <laughs> no, because you know how you always spell the word walk in front of a dog. Oh, I know. Oh, look, I get it. I thought for some reason that the dog Did named you? the station, and oh, they would I name get it. it. Oh, well, would... the dog named the station. No, then it would be W S F O T because you'd be licking your feet and you'd be like, I like this foot. Yeah. Because dog, dogs are dumb. I thought it would be a dog would name his radio station just F O O D. And they'd be like, well, you, F is not actually a, <laughs> uh, the opening letter for a radio station. Uh, it's got to be a K if actually, you're in the you're, west of the Rockies and a W uh, east of the you're Rockies. Making more sense, you're making more sense than I am because I actually spelled the word foot and yeah. you are. <laughs> The word food, which is what dogs probably like more than feet. Well, there's some weird dogs out there. You're fresh. I'll I'll check back with you in 24 hours. See how that's going. Please do. All right. JulieKlausner.com. I look forward. I wish you, I, 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 I wish you good tidings in the next hours and I will be checking back. And as I, as I said, please people buy the, buy the book. It's so great. And this is all about. This is this um, is your this is your victory lap. You're just the one running it. <laughs> I'm the one. Usually, yeah. Usually, you watch some. Yeah, 
No, that's what I guess I'm running my own victory lap. That's fine. I'll run my own bleeping victory uh, what, lap. What else, is, what else is new? What else is new? Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. <laughs> of course oh, you're running know. your own victory lap. What else I mean, is Yeah, new? what else? Oh, I get it. What else is I thought you were like, so what else is new? Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> what's in the news? What's in the news? What's in the news? Uh, does anybody see this? Uh, no. Um, no, I appreciate it, Julie. And I, I'm so happy to that we get to do what we do every week and i'm excited to keep doing it with you so double threat Me baby too. now go 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 uh go for it <laughs> good luck <laughs> go forth yeah okay i will i will talk to you later julie thank you so much all right talk to you later okay. bye. Right, bye julie klausner 